Hi, I'm Jeff Beer from the Embedded Vision Alliance. I'm here at the Consumer Electronics Show CES 2014 in Las Vegas, and I'm here in the demo suite of GeoSemi. I'm here with Zoroar Bassi, CTO of GeoSemi. Hi, hi Zoroar. Nice you. Thanks for having me. So GeoSemi, the name comes from geometry? From geometry, yes. And you're going to show us some cool demos uh, manipulating geometry of images. Absolutely. Excellent. OK, should we take it away? Go ahead. Okay, so GeoSemi's key technology is geometric processor. Essentially, we uh, create ASICs chips which do real-time geometric processing. And the idea there is, you know, an image comes in, a video feed comes in, and we actually transform it to meet whatever applications need it is. Um, here is one particular application focusing on automotive backup cameras. And the idea here is you have your backup camera, um, which normally provides a static view of, of the image and we are extracting multiple views from that single uh, image to provide views which may be relevant for a particular scenario like backing up or you know, looking for blind spots, uh, detecting images or people in blind spot areas. And to do this all very quickly in real time where the images transform into another. It's, it's essentially a morphing application. So you can see what we're doing here. Every frame we're actually changing the transformation. It's going from you know, a view of a 180 degrees lens to a top-down view to left and right. It's very flexible in the way you do it. This is one particular sequence that we're doing, but you have full control in how you want to program it, what type of transformations you want to actually do. So to understand correctly, Zoroar, Geo's product here that we're talking about is essentially a specialized processor that takes a video feed from the camera and transforms uh, the actual view that the, the camera is seeing into some other uh, kind of virtual view. Absolutely, absolutely. So the image, the view that's coming in in this particular demonstration is actually 180 degrees fisheye, which um, um, we, can, we can see in a minute here is essentially a circle. And we're transforming that through our uh, geometric processor into what you're seeing, all these different views. So from a, a consumer, from a driver point of view, the fisheye raw image is a little difficult to really interpret. It's not natural. That's what we're seeing here. This is the original fish. Kind of distorted, so you you transform that into something that's more natural, more more user friendly. That's correct. For example, this looks like a view which was more of a backup mirror view, something people are used to. Uh, and, and in some scenarios you want to actually have a view from different angles. Uh, a fisheye is just a single view which uh, distances are often hard to actually judge, perspective is hard to judge. We're transforming those views into something uh, which are easier for people to understand in a given scenario. Um, a, a backup scenario is one, but you can imagine this could be on the side mirror, which would have a slightly different types of views. Um, and that's all programmable, done through our processor in real time, which is very key for our technology. We are processing video in real time. It's not done after the fact. And you have some flexibility to program that processor to uh, provide different uh, different kinds of transformations, different views. That's correct. The, the transformations are completely user definable. We have tools and software um, where you can specify however you want to do it. Great. Okay. So that's a single camera application. From a single camera application, we're going to move to actually a multiple camera application. In this multiple camera application, we're going to be looking at four cameras placed in the car and bringing them together to provide a view from a top down. So if you imagine this is your car here, there would normally be a, a car graphic here. And you can imagine four cameras placed on the sides and the front and back of the camera. Those cameras are actually looking outwards, directly outwards. And this is what they would actually see. So you have your front looking straight out, your left looking towards the left, then back, and then towards the right. Those cameras don't show you a view like we're showing here, but that's the view we actually want. So what the geotech processing, uh, geometric processing from Geo allows you to do is, it will take this view, take the appropriate part from it, and make it look like you're actually looking at it from top down. It's essentially de-warping it to make, give it a, you know, instead of straight out, to actually top down. It does the same with each of these cameras. All of those four cameras are then combined to look like a virtual camera looking right above the car. So this view here that you see is very different from what you're seeing here. But this, the goal is to reconstruct a new view, which is more applicable in this application of being able to see, okay, where are you steering, where are you actually driving, and also uh, to feed maybe another analytics engine, which might be detecting for pedestrians and those kinds of things. So we are reconstructing new virtual views using our technology from views which are actually very different. So the 
the geoprocessors are taking these fisheye images from the four cameras and de-warping them, uh, changing the perspective. So instead of looking straight out, they're looking down and then stitching them together to essentially synthesize uh, a, a synthetic view from a virtual camera as if it were above the car. That's correct. And yeah, I could see how that would be extremely helpful for parallel parking, for Absolutely. example. You're trying to, instead of trying to guess where the curb is or the car behind you, you can actually just see it. Exactly. And, and maintaining the perspective is very important because, of course, you know, you, we need to judge distances. So all the fisheye distortions need to be taken out, they need to be flattened. The stitching has to be done seamlessly. So, you know, we talk about geometric processing, but another key part is actually the blending of the images. We do not want to see, you know, uh, seams or gradients in the colors and you know those are things that our um, geometric processor also do. Um, this could be also very applicable to uh, unmanned vehicles where you're trying to remotely uh, navigate this. Uh, so there you do want to have different views, not necessarily front, but top down is actually very important. So that's actually key. So the, um, so the sort of improved virtual views are useful on the one hand for, for human consumption to uh, give, give the driver a better perspective um, on the situation around him. On, on the other hand, useful for uh, vision processing, for detecting lane markings and other vehicles, and yes. other kinds of things like that. Absolutely. And um, geos technology plays a key role you know, in bringing that to, uh, to the particular application. Of Very cool. Yeah. An application here of geos uh, geometric processor is to steerable side mirror demos. Uh, basically, the, uh, the idea being to replace side mirrors on a car with actually fisheye or ultra wide angle cameras and then do geometric transformations on that fisheye view so that you can replicate what a side mirror looks like or actually go beyond what a side mirror looks like. You see a larger field of view and steer it and move it around. So you can imagine this is your automobile, it's got two side mirrors and putting two fisheye cameras there and then you want those cameras to be able to pan around just like a mirror can be moved around and provide you different views for blind spots, uh, pedestrians in the blind spots, um, and similar um, objects which are often hard to see. So you're talking about actually removing that side mirror assembly and just replacing it with a camera? Yes, that's right. So the, the, the mirror is completely gone. There is a, a ultra-wide angle or a fisheye camera there instead. And we're going to move that fisheye camera itself is still, and we're going to geometrically move around the different view from that camera. So it looks just like a mirror feels like a mirror or actually go do something different to give you maybe something even bigger than what a normal mirror would see um, and actually you know dynamically maybe move it uh, you know very flexible in terms of what you can do once you have this full view electronically. And um, what would be the motivation for an automaker to remove those those side view mirrors? So removing side view mirrors is, is an active area of, of uh, you know, resource to the automotive guys. One of the key things being uh, drag on the car to have the car more streamlined. Um, every small thing actually makes a big difference in the long run. The other thing being mirrors themselves right now you know, have a blind spot. They're not actually seeing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. When we have this 180 degrees fisheye, we are essentially seeing everything to the left or to the right of the car. Mm -hmm. So that's actually very key in terms of uh, you know, detecting things in your blind, actually essentially eliminating your blind spot. So you no longer have a blind spot. Um, those views can then be fed onto other uh, components in a vision system or a collision avoidance system such uh, as uh, detecting you know, people right beside you or auto cars right beside you which you might not be naturally looking at. So you know, you're eliminating essentially the blind spots by actually putting cameras there in addition to getting the benefit of you know, reduced um, um, you know, air drag and you know, getting better fuel economy and those things. So it's, it's, it's an active area of research with uh, automobile manufacturers um, and, and something which, which could happen in the next in a few years to come. So let's see actually how, how this uh, demo works about and what Geo is actually doing here. So here we have on the uh, left side a uh, 180 degrees fisheye camera mounted on the right side of your car. And on the right side what we have is the image gone through Geo's uh, geometric processor and extracted a certain view which is actually moving around. So the view is actually changing. It's going from left to right, top, down as if you had full control of your steerable mirror. Just like currently if you have a, a, a side mirror you usually have a little dial or a knob which will mechanically move the mirror around. We're doing that all electronically here. Um, so what you're doing is essentially you're replacing the um, mechanical function of the mirror 
with electronic function at the same time you have your fish eye view which is a 480 degrees no more blind spots and this is something very different from what a conventional mirror can do and geo plays a key role in doing all the transformations related to that excellent thanks very much for the demos okay thank you you're welcome